time now for one more thing, Dana. Okay, so today I had the privilege of going to the 2017 Disruptor Innovation Awards, and I wanted to just highlight somebody that got the first award. His name is Mick Ebeling, and he is the head of and founder of Not Impossible. So in this clip, he helped create these vibrating wristbands on a pianist named Joe who was forced to give up his skill after he was diagnosed with Parkinson's, and watch what happened next. Every physician that I've talked to said, it's over, forget it, you're not going to get any better. You have to feel it, and then it, it works. That's incredible. It's incredible. The whole day was amazing. There's lots of innovators to see. Um, wow. For that, for more on that, um, notimpossible.com. You can learn more about Mick and his efforts. And um, lastly, guess what? My book about Jasper was named one of the notable books of the year, oh. which I totally that I circled it for which one doesn't belong. But it was an honor, and I was I just loved the event. It was great. Congratulations. Well, how interesting. That was Maybe. great. I know you like science I and, love and it. medical science. I love it. I love Pro it. science. Go ahead, Bob. Uh, well, you know, uh, President Trump, when he was candidate Trump, uh, would oftentimes speak about his disdain for executive orders. Let's take a look at him on the campaign trail. He of the executive order, because nobody wants to listen to him, including the Democrats. So he just goes around signing executive orders. The country wasn't based on executive orders. Right now, Obama goes around signing executive orders. He can't even get along with the Democrats. What? What? Well, there you go. Now, here you'll see uh, what uh, he's done his entire presidential 100 days is to sign executive orders. So. Uh, you got you to gotta love a guy who can change his mind like that and even have some of his supporters still believe the guy can tell the truth. Was that like when John Kerry was for the war? Yeah, we, was one more thing we don't do is interrupt on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, my one more thing. Uh, there was a congressman in California, a Democrat. Mark Disonia was at a town hall and answered a question from an 11-year-old girl about President <laughs> Trump. Roll the tape. This is dangerous stuff. And I've said a few times the most dangerous person in America is a terrorist. It's the person who's in, who's president of the United States. Wow. So there you have it, Democrat congressman saying that President Trump, the most dangerous man in America, more dangerous You really think he said that? ISIS. I don't think he said that. The congressman's <laughs> phone number, if you want to contact him, oh, you know, let him know yeah. what you want to, you know, 202-225-2095. Wait till tomorrow, though, when the office is open, Gregory. Uh, uh, all right. It's time for my favorite topic. Greg Sports Corner. So weird, right? You know, I love me some sports. You know, the uh, Clippers played the Jazz. They're both, that's basketball. And uh, they have these little, sometimes they have games in halftime where, you know, kids and adults run against each other. Ooh, look at this. Oh that God. guy, that's an adult, did that to a kid. And there oh. goes the Jazz Bear. Let's show it one more time. The Jazz Bear says, hey, that ain't right. He runs on there. He goes, bam, the Jazz Bear oh. knocks him down. The guy died instantly. Oh, my oh. Greg. No, he didn't. Don't make things I up. I made it up. He's fine. But it's a lesson valuable to, uh, to learn when you're in a halftime game. Don't beat up children. That's right. Kimberly, we'll be right back. And, and you do really look out for the children. I do. Yeah. I care for the kids, Kimberly. I care for the kids. All righty. If you say so. <laughs> Check this out. This is a really good one. Okay. This wonderful woman, 101 years old, she won the 100-meter dash in New Zealand's World Masters Games yesterday. Now, hmm. one small issue, nobody else ran against her, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's no one in doesn't the 100-plus age group wow. category to compete. She, that means she outran running. all of her competitors. She would have beat me. I well, can tell you that. But she, she would smoke you. Trust Absolutely. me. Mankar is her name um, wow. of India. She completed the race in one minute and 14 seconds. They did a whole medical clearance, cleared her to run after that, and she began ran, uh, running in um, track and field with her son at the age of 94. Isn't that the best? That is great. great. That's I think it's great. Well, well done. done.